Well, hello to all my wonderful YouTube fans. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog video. If you're curious on what I am doing today in my room, basically what I want to do is test out this battery bank right here. The one I built by scratch and I want to see what it can't and cannot do. Basically what I want to try is my 32 inch television to see if I can power it off of this battery box with this inverter right here. Basically this is a DC to AC inverter should I say. But basically what I want to try is see how stable it is with this inverter with this battery box. Now you're gonna say, Chris, can it basically power anything? Can it power uh, this uh, stereo back here? It could, but it probably can't with this type of inverter because I would have to probably buy a much nicer inverter, should I say. But this is all 12 volts basically, and I put a lot of awesome time into it. But basically, let's go ahead and get into the testing and see if it will power my TV. If we got no power. That's curious, I don't know. Let's find out, shall we? Gonna be freaking awesome. Alright, to all my tubes out there, basically what we're going to be doing today is testing my Element Style 32 inch television on this battery box with the inverter. But basically, the TV is AC, but it also has DC as well to convert on things and stuff, should I say. Well, basically, I got the AC cord right here. Got the battery box over here. Let me turn the system on and see what it can do. But you're going to say, Chris, can you power on things with this big ass battery box you uh, make? Well, it also pretends on the limitations of the system as well. Alright, the inverter is turned on. Let's plug the plug in. Waiting for the little light to show up. Hey! Let's turn it on and see what it does. I don't know. I'm just wondering, can it power it? That's all I'm curious. Alright, we got a bit of a picture here, but we got no sound because I turned the sound off on my TV. But basically, the battery bank can power this big giant TV. It's only 32 inch television, but it works perfectly fine. Now let's see what the voltage is. 12.4 volts. Ah, not too bad. But alright, let's turn that off so we don't get any issues with uh, YouTube stuff. But what can it power? Hmm. Ah, I know. Let's try a light and see if it can power it. Now remember, it is only 12 volts, but I do have halogens and I do have also incandescence. But let's find out what it can do. Fucking amazing battery box, should I say? Alright, what are we doing? Well, I want to see if I can power this AC lamp with a 60 watt incandescent bulb in it. Let me take the bulb out before you can kind of see what I'm doing. Good old fashioned incandescent light bulb right here. 60 watts. But I know you could probably convert these to 12 volts with using 12 volt uh, bulbs. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of interesting. 
But basically, here is my big giant battery box I built. And of course, the inverter. Well, let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's see what the voltage is. 12.8 volts. Not too bad. Time to plug the AC lamp in. See what this big battery box can do. Now, of course, it does beep when you're drawing power. That's basically normal with this type of inverter. Well, let's go and turn off my overhead light. And basically, you can see it's powering this light perfectly fine. Now, you're going to say, Chris, does this drain some of the battery? Well, of course it will because you're using the battery backup system for powering AC items. But remember, <clears throat> you don't want to use the battery backup system for a very long time because you might actually drop the voltage way too low and you might actually damage the battery. But we are sitting at 12.6 volts. That is freaking amazing for a battery backup system. Now you're gonna say, Chris, what can it power? What can you use it for? Well, I don't know if it can power a desktop, but it could probably, but with this type of inverter, it probably won't work. But hey, you know what? We can give it a shot. I know it can power a laptop, but I don't think a desktop would work. But there you go. You can have a power outage. Here's a big giant battery box. And of course, there's an AC lamp. Fucking amazing. Let's test something else. What this unit can power. Fucking amazing. Alright. Are you ready for some more testing of this battery bank right here with the inverter? I want to see gonna power my old school radio hmm I don't think it could but we can try it oh I tried it on the old desktop it's not gonna power it I might have to get a different inverter at some point but let's go ahead and see if it can power this bad boy over here all right time to switch it on But I don't think it's gonna power it because I know this uh, max fuse on this guy is only 10 amps. But the rest of my circuit is pretty darn good. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? That's freaking awesome! I didn't have to power my old radio with it. Cool! What you gonna say, Wayne? What? How can that work? Let's see. Do we got a station? Let's see. Power Chevy Buick and GMC on Route 170 Calcutta, just off Route 11 and PowerGM.com. That's so cool. <laughs> amazing should I say hmm try to think what else can it power hmm I don't know all right tubes this is the final last test of my battery backup system Basically, what I want to see, can it power this old e-machine over here? Now, of course, with desktops, you don't always like to be powered by battery backup systems because they're a little bit more different. But basically, let's go ahead and turn the TV on, should I say. 
and we're going to flip the switch on the side or the back of my box turning the invert on checking the voltage it's stable at 12.7 volts that's freaking amazing all right let's power this machine up but you're gonna think you're gonna say Chris how is that possible well that is a very good question because I made this system with a much bigger battery. It has 12 volts, 26 milliamps of amps in the battery itself. But basically you can see there is the loading screen of Windows 7 with a battery backup. But you gotta say, how is that possible? To me, I don't know. I don't know how that's possible, tubes, but it's freaking awesome, should I say. But this battery bank kill I made, it is locking. Very good. Now I'm just waiting for it to load. Now you're gonna say, Chris, you could probably got a different battery backup. Uh, for your uh, electronics and your different devices. But how much wattage is this guy pulling? Well, so far we have dropped down a little bit uh, voltage. We are 12.2 volts. And I gotta charge my uh, battery, should I say. But again, this is basically everything that's loading on the computer. I'm blown away. I need a cup of coffee tubes. That's crazy. There you go. Basically, my system is running the old E machine. Alright, if you guys and girls are going to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. So we'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. Alright, bye from your boy Chris, have fun with your battery backups, freaking amazing.